comedy tour at Stratosphere. Then the second show we went to was, where was that? Planet Hollywood. Yeah, it was Planet Hollywood. And it was Xavier Mortimer magic show, kind of like a Charlie Chaplin kind of-esque magic show. Which was okay. I mean, it was entertaining for a little bit. This is new. This wasn't up here the last time I was up here, so they just built that on. I think. I don't know. Because this is where Ryan was playing that tournament that one time, and I don't remember seeing this up here. Sure. <laughs> this is a ring about haunted gloves, evil twins, and unrequited love. Most nights it's harmless enough, though. Would you please turn off your cell phone readers? You may take photos during the show. Just turn off the flash so you don't blind Xavier. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Xavier Mortimer! factory at Tropicana, which was cool because uh, they had Rich Little, who's the impressionist guy from like 70s, 80s, he used to be on Johnny Carson and all those Dean Martin Rose shows and things like that. He's, he's very good. I used to watch him when I was a kid and watching Johnny Carson and stuff like that. 
and he would host, I think he hosted the Johnny Carson show a couple times. But the man's 80 years old, still look pretty good. And of course, obviously, you can't be recording and stuff. I got some pictures. Stage and he's like, you know, you guys should stick around for the 10 o'clock show because Andrew Dice Clay is going to be here. And he just snuck in and didn't pay. All of a sudden you hear something in the back, and sure enough, Andrew Dice Clay is sitting right there. It's like, ha, that's cool. That's pretty much what we've been doing. Little shows here and there, nothing really to vlog because you can't vlog any of it. You know, you can't record any of it. And that, to me, that just seems like it'd be kind of boring. We saw those three. I think tomorrow we're seeing Tom Green. I think that's his name. He used to be married to Drew Barrymore. He was on MTV. But other than that, that's been taking up most of my time is work. Work, 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 work. You gotta work to live, so it is what it is. So other than that, for an update, that's pretty much it. I haven't been doing much. Little shows here and there that I can't record, which kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do? So anyway, so that fill a ticket thing is actually a pretty good deal. So if you live here in Vegas, it's like a steal because it was $85 for the whole year and you get to see shows like it's on an app or something and she does all that. And it's basically, you want to go see this? Yeah, okay. Well, it's usually like the same day or three days out or whatever. I mean, in Vegas, there's a lot of cool shows. The first show alone, we made our money back because it was $85 for the year. And that Red Net Comedy Tour, that each ticket was like $42 or something like that, so that's $84. Well, we made our money back right there, that's $84 we made back, so, you know. And then we went and saw The uh, the Magician, those tickets were 50 bucks a pop. Rich Little Show, I mean, those are like 40 50 bucks. I didn't even look to see what those were. We're like way ahead, you can't lose on that, so I mean, yeah, you don't get priority seating and you get away to line a little bit, but... I'm willing to do that to save all that damn money. Because we've seen probably close to $300 worth of shows and we paid $85. And then there's another one tomorrow, so the hell, you know? If you live in Vegas, they obviously don't have any affiliate, affiliate thing. Otherwise, I would link that down below, but they don't have one, so whatever. I think it's a good deal. If you live in Vegas, you're gonna come here and be here for a while or whatever. It's not a bad deal, you should probably check that out. Anyway, I'm gonna go find her. See what we're gonna do. Hopefully she's winning some damn money instead of losing it. I'll tell you one thing, it's not easy to find someone in here at all. $180. And she cashed out without me being there. <laughs> she's learning. I paused for a while. I wasn't gonna cash it out, but then I knew you were gonna say you always cash out when you double your money, and I'm more than double your money. See, she's learning. Oh shit. Now she sees this. Thing. I can win a million dollars. There's a spinny thing with a chance for a million dollars. Say goodbye to the hundred and eighty dollars. Yes, bye bye. She puts it in the dollar machine. She loses eleven dollars. She can't see the screen because it's like 3D. It's really fucked up looking. And then <laughs> she puts it in the penny machine and wins two fourteen. At 169. Not bad. She does good. Cashes out at 250, whatever the hell it was, on the Willy Wonka machine. About killing me, but she's not cashing out. I was down to like eight bucks. Yeah, she was down to like eight dollars. Busted back up to 254. She 
cashes out with heavy pressure. <laughs> and then it comes over to this damn thing and puts it in there. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. She cashes out 284. The trick is to get her out of here without spending any more of it. So we ended up with $347. And the tickets for the, what was it called? Laugh what? The Laugh Factory. Laugh Factory. We're essentially free. $12 at Starbucks, $20 at uh, Shake Shack. I can't fucking think right now. And then we were 10 bucks ahead. That's where we were walking out. And she just had to put another $20 in the machine. So we ended up negative $10 for the night. Which considering we've been down here since, what, 5.30ish? About 5.30ish? What time is it now? Like 11ish? So we got entertainment and only lost $10. So I'm good. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm happy. It was fun. So that's pretty much gonna do it. So I'm going to try and make a conscious effort to put out more content because I've been slacking like a muff. Just remember, if you like my videos, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about it, share the videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Oh.